every Texan knows Dr. Pepper. It's one of the world's most popular soft drinks with a recognizable taste made from a secret recipe that includes a rumored 23 different flavors. Dr. Pepper is the oldest of all the major brands of soda here in the U.S. But how many of you know that Dr. Pepper was born in Waco, Texas? The man behind Dr. Pepper was Brooklyn native Charles Alderton, born June 21st, 1857. He attended school in England and studied medicine in Texas before taking a job as a pharmacist in Morrison's Old Corner Drugstore in Waco. But why did he create this tasty potion? We really don't know. But creating sodas was common among pharmacists of the time who were already in the business of mixing up tonics, syrups, and elixirs. Sometimes these medicines even tasted good. Whatever the reason, people loved Alderton's mix. Customers started coming into the pharmacy and telling the guys at the soda fountain to shoot me a Waco, as the drink was first known. Soon enough, it would gain its Dr. Pepper name, though nobody knows exactly where it came from. Some say the pharmacy owner, Wade Morrison, christened it after a girl he was sweet on. Others claim it came from a contest, while another said it was named after a freckle-faced shop assistant nicknamed Pepper and Doc. There seems to be as many stories as there are secret ingredients. The drink became so popular that other soda fountain operators started buying up the special syrup, but Alderton and his partners couldn't keep up with demand. They needed to get proper machinery and large-scale manufacturing. But Alderton wasn't interested, so wanting to stick with pharmacy work, he bowed out. Morrison saw an opportunity and brought on a young chemist, Robert S. Lazenby, to take over the Dr. Pepper project. In 1891, the two entrepreneurs founded the Artesian Manufacturing and Bottling Company, which evolved into the famous brand Dr. Pepper, especially after 20 million people guzzled the drink at the 1904 World's Fair while downing heaps of newfangled delectables like hamburgers, hot dogs, and ice cream cones. Today, Dr. Pepper is an international company it's 28,000 employees manufacturing and selling $15 billion worth of product from 30 manufacturing locations and 150 plus principal warehouses and distribution centers. That's a long way from a drugstore in Waco. But what happened to the man who passed up on mass marketing Dr. Pepper? Charles Alderton went on to have a successful pharmaceutical career and was a civic leader in Waco. But as far as we know, he never again crafted so magic a potion as Dr. Pepper. Want to learn more about Texas entrepreneurs like Charles Alderton? Click the subscribe button and like us, the Texas Center at Trina University.